Hello guys, thanks for coming to check out this video. If you are keen on learning calligraphy and you want a reference for a uppercase and a lowercase alphabet, then this is the video for you. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So a couple of tools I'm using today is just a ruler, my bullet journal, a pencil and a brush nib. If you don't have a brush pen, you could just use a soft pencil like a 2B or a 4B that would just help with getting your downstrokes to be nice and thick. So here I am starting with ruling some guidelines for me to work from. I'm using double line spacing and the first line is solid, the next one down is a dotted line and the next two down after that are both solid lines. So this is going to be a guide for all your letters. Now if you didn't fancy ruling these all out, I have made a worksheet for you guys to help you. It'll be linked in the description box down below. So this has the lines already on it and it's actually got the letters faintly on there as well so that you can trace over the top and really build up your practice of doing these letters. So if you want to go ahead and print that sheet out now and then practice directly on top or if you want to follow me and rule up your journal to work with, then go ahead and let's get started. So now we have all the lines ruled up and it's time to grab my brush pen. I'm going to be using the hard tipped Fudanuske brush pen. So this comes in a pack of two that I bought and it had a hard tip and a soft tip. The hard tip I just personally prefer because I can get a smoother upstroke, they're your thinnest strokes, and then the downstroke you just, can just press a little bit harder and it doesn't go too thick. Um, so that's just a personal preference, whatever you've got on hand, or if you wanted to do, like I say, the pencil, that's a great way to start as well. If you want more information, like a, d a deeper look at calligraphy, I have done a previous video, which I'll leave in the description box as well. But for now, let's get started on this alphabet. I am obviously starting with the letter A, and the key to remember in calligraphy is whenever your pen is moving upwards in an upwards motion, it wants to be really soft and thin. So you're just going with a really light hand moving upwards. And then when you're bringing all your down strokes, when you're bringing your pen downwards, you wanna have a bit more pressure and it creates that thicker stroke. So it takes a little while to get used to your hand doing that, um, but once you have it, it's such a simple way to like make your text really come alive. And I find myself using this in so many different uses, like on birthday cards and making Christmas cards, even just writing thank you notes and things like that. I just love it. And obviously in your bullet journal, it does a lot to add that fancy feeling to any of your spreads. So you may notice that my capital letters seem to take up the entire space between those lines and that's because it does. I personally prefer capital letters that tend to go past the baseline. I like them to be a little bit bouncy like that and have the large starting capital letter. Um, you can sort of see it in a word in the top right corner of the video where it says calligraphy. See how that C is much bigger than it would normally be if we had the C, the bottom of the C as the baseline. So that's why I like to do all of my alphabet in uppercase, just going further down to the descender line and then working my lowercase in from there. So that is a personal preference and this is how I do it. So I'm just showing you that here today. What I love about calligraphy is that you can really make it personal to you. If you like things really swirly and curly, you can always add more curls and swirls as you're liking. Or you can really hold it back and do it quite basic um, and just use that, just rely on the thicknesses of the letters. I think it's really enjoyable like that. And that's the thing, it, it, I may do this now like this, but then another day I might do it completely different. I feel like your emotions come out in calligraphy that sounds really funny but I feel like if you're in a fun happy mood your calligraphy is really bouncy and quite curly yeah it's just nice to have this option where you can elaborate if you feel like it or you can keep it simple and paired back another tip for calligraphy is your pace now when you watch it on YouTube you might think that they're doing it so quickly and that's usually because the video is sped up like crazy this takes you know, it takes patience. It really does take time for you to get those lines smooth. So don't think that you need to rush through things to be good. I feel like the more patient you are and the more relaxing you feel, the better your letters will come out. And that is why it's actually known to be quite meditative. Like 
to do this in a relaxing environment is actually so so nice for the soul and it really makes you feel very calm because you have to go slow to make it look good and yeah it's just a really nice feeling to chill out and do some writing that is our uppercase alphabet done and now we can use that as a reference in our journal so turn back to when we just want to have like our standard calligraphy style font I love to vary up my handwriting throughout my journal so to have this there as a reference it'll give me a quick reminder of my go-to style so now it's time to set up the page, rule out those lines and getting ready for our lowercase alphabet. So you'll see that I've started my lines down lower. I've left a full um, line off because I can just fit way more lowercase letters onto these lines. So I didn't need to use the entire page for it. And I also wanted to include a little title for it, which you guys might like to do in your journal as well, so that you can put your calligraphy reference at the top. So one thing to remember when you're working with calligraphy is that you don't need to keep your pen on the page to form an entire letter. It's actually much better, you get a much better result if you take the pen off between the strokes. So here in the D, I started with the loop for the base of the D and then took my pen off and started fresh for the leg of the D. And that is what is the big difference between like a cursive font and calligraphy. So if you haven't realized that yet, or if you've, when you've practiced, you've not done it like that, try that and I guarantee it's going to make the appearance of your letters look much more put together. Now the guidelines are much more useful when you're doing your lowercase letters. As you can see, I start on the baseline for all my letters. That's where the base wants to sit. And then the letters come up to the X height line, which is that broken line that we drew in and then either have ascenders which go up to the ascender line or descenders that come down to the descender line. So the J is a descender, the K is an ascender. So it just makes it so much easier having those guidelines there to help you along the way. And that completes our lowercase alphabet. So you now have a reference for the entire alphabet, both uppercase and lowercase. And it's a great guide and refer back to page in your bullet journal to have, to remind you of your font. And then it's great for practicing. And to finish off, I'm just titling my page with a calligraphy font, connecting those capital letters with the lowercase letters that we just practiced. So if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful in some way, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more of my videos. And if you have a moment to share it with someone that you think would enjoy the video as well, I would love you to do that. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see more of videos like this on calligraphy. Um, I'm happy to comply because I have really enjoyed making it and I love working in calligraphy. So yeah, if you want to know more, if you want to see more, let me know in those comments. Thank you very much as always for sticking with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.